welcome back to another video of mine so today I am sharing with you guys how I do my Peruvian beans um, I could say Peruvian pinto um, whichever kind or type of beans that you want to do it will be the same step for any type of beans I like to use Peruvian beans just because they are softer and creamier and I just like the taste of the Peruvian beans um, Better than the pinto beans, they take longer and they are more like a hard texture to cook. So the process of cooking beans will approximately take about maybe to an hour and a half to two hours, depending how much you are making. Um, today I am doing three cups of the Peru Peruvian beans. So I have three cups here and my bowl because this is where I'll be rinsing them off. And I'm going to add one half of a white onion. This is a serrano. So it's only one and I did slice them up and this is a jalapeno. I'm doing two jalapenos and I sliced them up as well. Um, you could do one jalapeno, but I'm doing two. <clears throat> um, you can also add uh, a head of garlic or half of a garlic or two or three cloves. Um, I will be adding about three cloves of garlic in there. So with that being said, I do have my pot of water in the stove already boiling. So I have my pot here, and it's a small pot, it's not big. Um, I only added half ways of my pot, just because we are going to add our beans into the pot. Because once you add them, obviously they will rise, the water will rise up with the beans. But I just want to have it into a, a half ways. And make sure you have a cover for it as well, some like a breather with it or something. Um, because we do want to um, let our beans cook truly. And if you have it covered, it'll be a faster process as well. Um, so yeah guys, stay tuned for the uh, process and don't forget to give this video a like, don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you are a new subscriber, please, I will appreciate that and let's get started. So I have my beans in my sink and now I'm just going to use um, warm water. And make sure you have a strainer as well, so it could be an easier process for you when you rinse them out. So as you guys know, when you rinse and wash your beans, it's just because you want to clean them, take uh, any small rocks or dirt, or just, you know, people touch beans. So eventually you do have to wash them really good. A lot of people wash them overnight, but to be honest, you don't have to, as long as you wash it through me, and I do about four to five times, repeat the same process. So that's what we're going to do. You see how the water changes? Really, really dirty. So as you can see, the water is clear. That means that they are red tea because they're clean. So I'm just gonna rinse the water out and put them back in here. And the water is boiling, so that means it's ready. So you do have to wait until your water starts to boil to add our beans into our pot. Okay guys, our water is boiling. So once your water starts to boil, it's ready to put your beans in there. Now with the spoon, I'm just going to move them around. I'll just take this one out that's floating in there. So now I'm going to cover them up. Okay, I'm not adding salt yet. Um, I'm going to cover them up um, for about five to eight minutes. And when I see that they are starting to rise up and up to a boil point, um, I'm going to start adding my salt. And my ingredients now that you see that my beans rise up and the water does consume so you got to keep an eye on that uh, make sure every time your water starts to consume up you have to keep adding water and then the beans will kind of lower down and you could add as much water as you want as long as you cover them up 
So just keep water on the side for you guys. And I'm just going to mix them because you don't want them to stick to your pot. So just mix them around, move them around. So I'm just going to keep an eye on this. And once they start to boil um, or rise up a little bit more, then I will add my salt to it and my ingredients. And I'm going to cover it up again. Now that they are boiling and they did rise up again, as you can see, um, we're going to lower our heat. Kind of like in a, in a low high heat because you do want to um, cook your beans really well until they are soft. So I do have my salt here and I'm going to drizzle some. Okay, so I'm going to do it like this. Okay, that was one time going across and I'm going to do it again one more time. Now we're just going to mix this in together. And you will be... I mean, you could tell by the color and the texture of your beans when they are cooking through, but you do want that soft texture of your beans. And that's when they are done. But the key here is to keep adding water. Don't let your water um, consume because you will burn your beans and they will get really dry. So now that I added our salt, I am going to add <clears throat> my onion. Since it is big, I'm going to cut it in half or four pieces, however you want. Okay, so I did cut it up. Probably do it smaller just because eventually it will um, fall apart in there. Okay, now I'm gonna add my jalapenos in there and my serranos. And this is to give it a really good flavor to your beans. And don't forget your garlic, two cloves, three, as much as you want to add in there. <clears throat> and we're going to cover it up again. I kind of leave a little um, space right here because they do rise and I don't want them to like um, pop out of, the, out of your pot and make a whole mess. So I just leave it open a little bit even though it has a breather. And remember to have it on a low high heat. And keep an eye on your water. Keep adding water so your beans won't get dry. And we'll be back to check on it. Okay, guys. Now you see that it's boiling. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more water. Just a little bit. And I'm going to cover it up once again. But I'm going to move them because, like I said, I don't want them to get stuck or burnt. They are cooking really good. But, like I mentioned, it's a process. About an hour and a half or two hours. It's already been for me for about an hour. An hour and ten minutes. So, I'm going to be leaving them in there for two hours. And I'm going to cover them up. And just have them in a low, um, in a low high heat. So, we'll be back to check on them. It is completely done. It's done. The last boiling process. And it took me approximately two hours and a half. If you want to let them cook all the way for three hours, that would be perfect as well. But I feel like it's done. You can see they're soft. And I'm just going to taste for salt. So you can always do that at the end. It's really hot, so I have to be careful. And they're perfect on salt. Ooh but they're perfect. Now I'm just going to turn it off and serve it in a plate. And you know, um, eating beans, just the beans from the pot, Spanish, you would say frijoles de la olla or frijoles mm -hmm. caserola, however you want to say it. <laughs> Very perfect, delicious. You can serve beans with anything, rice, meat, um, even enchiladas, you know, it's just real easy to make. It's just a process of making them. And, and you could crumble some queso fresco or any kind of cheese you want, but I prefer queso fresco. Serve it in a plate, eat it with tortillas. I just prefer with tortillas, even handmade tortillas. So if you guys haven't checked out my um, tortilla de harinas, which is a flour tortillas recipe, go check it out. And here you have it, guys. Delicious and it's not good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Share, comment down below. Let me know your feedback. I would love to see that. And... 
subscribe to my channel for more recipes. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.